Let me solo her was an undefeated warrior who roamed the lands between with his young son and companion, Jiran. He was teaching his son the ways of the blade until one day Millennia, Blade of Mikola, who was traveling to Kaelid to battle Radan, stumbled upon Jiran. Jiran was alone practicing his ways with the blade when Millennia took it upon herself to make a statement. She would strike and kill Jiran in a desperate attempt to show her power and might across the lands between. As she made that final strike, Let Me Solo Her saw the final moments of his son's death. This memory would come to haunt him for the rest of his days. Let Me Solo Her then made it his life's mission to destroy the one that destroyed his son. His one true motive was now to get the ultimate revenge and defeat Millennia Blade of Mikola. He would train day in, day out, tirelessly, as he knew that Millennia was going to be the greatest challenge he'd ever faced. During his training, he would find the rivers of blood. He would dual wield them to create two deadly katanas that would dismantle any foe that they slashed, or so he thought. He would then travel across the lands between to meet and challenge Millennia to a duel, a fight for his son, The power and the display of skill and art of millennia was no match for him. He fell and he failed. He was helpless, defeated, lost. But with the depression, he grew stronger and would decide to strike again. But again, he would be defeated. With each defeat, he would grow a little bit stronger. His body slowly transforming into one of a truly spectacular warrior. With each defeat by the hand of Millennia, he would find a small weakness, a glimmer of hope, and that maybe one day he could finish his calling and defeat this rot-filled Empyrean. Battle after battle he fell, but after 242 battles with Millennia, he was truly in despair. Could he defeat the undefeated? Did he have what it takes? Until one day, during his training, he stumbled upon a jar. It was the jar that his son once put upon his head when the two were training all those years ago. He would make his son wear this jar on his head so that he could defeat enemies without sight. A tough training regime that helped the bond between the two only grow thicker. This jar was the only physical thing left that kept him connected to his son, Jaran. So in honor of his son, he would wear the jar proudly. He would bear all armor with just two katanas and a jar on his head. He would then reach his final form. Let me solo her was ready. His powers had grown exponentially. He was a new man. His son's powers had formed with his, and he was ready to defeat his nemesis. And on the 243rd attempt, he would finally defeat Millennia. But not without damage, he only barely survived. But as that final strike hit, he would fall to his knees, begging for the feeling to subside. But it didn't. His anger His rage for millennia was still there. He couldn't shake it. He wanted more. Overcome by the obsession, he would travel to different realms, different moments in time to help other Tarnish defeat millennia. He would ask a favor of each Tarnish he came across to grant him permission to solo her. It was a man wearing nothing but a jar in his head, holding two katanas named Let Me Solo Her. I considered against it, but I was curious. And who am I to deny him his wish? The man took no damage except for some rot on the flower attack. He was flawless and put all my attempts to shame. I definitely didn't kill Millennia, but either way, she is dead. Thank you, kind stranger, even if you'll never see this message. His famous words echoed through every era. 
I always wear a jar on my head, and I do not bail on any millennia boss fights. As he grew to legendary status, imposters would rise up and attempt to solo millennia themselves in a desperate attempt of fame. But they were just merely imposters, and each and every one of them failed. There was only one, let me solo her. He was addicted, he was obsessed. He had perfected the battle with Millennia, unmatched. He could now defeat Millennia untouched, without damage, flawless. It was not a fight, but a dance. It was truly an amazing feat. Let Me Solo Her was now a legend across the lands between. His story traveled across worlds. Some thought of him as a myth. Others were lucky enough to meet him. A champion among men, hero in darkness. Legends are told of the man who swears but a pot and wields dual blades. The goddess of rot can only run from who dons the name. Let me solo her. To this day, let me solo her continues to fight the obsession in the hopes that one day he will meet a millennia that will put an end to his obsession and grant him his final wish of death where he could finally see his son again once more. But until that day, he is known as the legendary Jarnished. Let me solo her is a champion among men. There you have it guys. That is the lore for Let Me Solo Her. Of course, some incredible fan art within this video that I've showcased. I'll leave some links in the description of this incredible community. Make sure you check all those guys out. And isn't it crazy that this fan art's come about from this random guy who just came up and decided to help people out and he has just gone viral within the community. You're seeing the fan art, you're seeing the videos. Man, I hope you're watching this. We salute you. Hopefully, we see more of it in future Souls games. Hopefully, you can come back and fulfill your duties. But hopefully, you enjoyed the video, guys. If you do enjoy Elden Ring content, Elden Ring lore, make sure you do subscribe with notifications on. I'd really appreciate that if you could. And leaving a like always helps out. Guys, it's been my absolute pleasure. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.